of the relief, as I said, is to focus on the individual event first and then um, then we speak about relief. Variety is another, another Olympics for you. What are you really going for? Come here 200 meters. Another Olympics for you. What are you going for? Just let me take my best. We are here. Everybody is here to win. So let's go to my best. Yeah. Sherry, you said it was a decision taken by yourself and your coach. Can you shed some more light on why you decided that the 100, 200 number was not going to be for you this time? Um, as I said, it's a combination of a lot of stuff. And as I said, coach and I made that decision not to come to test. 100 meters, and I think we're pretty happy with that. So. Uh, what's the injury status like? We saw you pull up in your previous race. I've seen you compete since then. Are you 100% fit now? Um, honestly, I was only supposed to compete in that event. As, as coach stated, um, we only run a few races in Europe, and I think that was the only race all of us were supposed to run. And after that, um, the person that was going to be had competed. So I think I'm pretty good. I'm in pretty good shape. Alright, welcome back to the channel guys. So, I'm sure by now that everyone knows that Sherika Jackson has withdrawn from the women's 100 meters in Paris 2024, right? So, this news is definitely sad. This news is definitely the one that we don't want to hear and definitely as change the equation in paris right no we're not gonna see the big showdown between shakir richardson shelly and fraser price um other competitors julian alfred talu and other competitors tia tia clayton and so forth so this is definitely <laughs> very sad and definitely something that no one was looking forward to however this has definitely raise my eyebrows because if you had watched the interviews that Sherika Jackson did recently um where she explained why she will be not competing in the 100 meters you, you should see how happy she looked she she was definitely calm and composed right a lot of people are speculating a lot of people are assuming that she is injured right because she because of what happened right a few weeks before the olympics right so in the recent interviews that she did she didn't mention that she was injured why she is not um doubling anymore she didn't mention that she looked calm and composed and she said that her coach and, and her came to a decision not to run the 100 meters right um i'm I've been contemplating, I've been wondering why. If Sherika Jackson is not um, injured, then why she's not competing in the 100 meters? That was a question that I have come up with, right? And then I remembered something. Then I remember what took place last season. If you guys remember last season, Sherika Jackson tried on countless occasions to break the 200 meters world record right and i remember a particular race in which she was expected to break the 200 meter world record and she didn't she ran a meeting record and the fourth fastest time of her career which is 21.7 at the diamond league final in eugene right steve francis the man the myth the legend came in an interview and he spoke candidly about candidly about his disappointment of Sherika Jackson of not breaking the 200 meters world record, right? He did an interview and he said that he's really displeased, he's really disappointed of Sherika Jackson's performance, even though she ran a very fast time. When asked about what he thinks Sherika Jackson should do when trying to attempt the world record again, he said that they are contemplating on Sherika not to double in Paris 2024. Yes, that I believe is the reason why Sherika Jackson is not doing the 100 meters. I don't think she's injured because she didn't say that in the interview and she looks calm and composed when doing the interviews and very happy to me. So I believe that the reason why Sherika Jackson 
is not <laughs> doing the 100 meters this season at Paris is the fact that they are focusing on the 200 meters. They are focusing on the, the likeness of her to break the 200 meters world record. So I don't think she is unfit. I don't think she's injured according to rumors because as I said before, they have not confirm any injuries they have not said it was because of injuries they've been saying that it was a decision by her and her coach and when i do a, uh, a bit of reflection i remember when siva francis spoke about his disappointment after that final in eugene that diamond league final to be precise um so <laughs> that is the reason why sherika jackson is not doing the 100 meters people definitely <laughs> definitely people that 200 meters world record is top priority this season definitely definitely i know a lot of her people now will be rushing into the comment section saying that she's not in that form she's not they don't believe that she's not in that form and they don't believe that she's not fit enough to eclipse that 200 meters world record based on of her season performances but in my view i believe that she's ready siva francis is saying that she, she looks okay to him and they are saying that and he said earlier and prior to that interview that she's one to attend faster 100 percent faster one tenth faster so definitely i'm expecting fireworks in that woman's 200 meters i'm definitely looking forward for that clash up against gabby thomas because yami thomas yabby thomas is her main threat to that gold medal and definitely the the, the 200 meters will break out <laughs> it needs to go to be honest definitely we really want to see sherika jackson eclipse that 200 meters and world record definitely but <laughs> as usual guys just let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about this speculation because really and truly i was wondering if sherika jackson is fit why she's not doing the um the 100 meters and then i remember what siva francis said in an interview that they are contemplating on for sherika not to double at paris 2024 so leave your thoughts in the comment section guys because we really want to have a discussion we really want to like shed some light on this and definitely get to the meat of the matter people but before you guys go share share like and share to get my content out there subscribe to help to build the real community and also become a member get access to perks on my channel definitely really need help and support guys bye now